Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about Python list and how to create them. Python offers a range of compound data types often referred to as a sequence. List is one of the most frequent used and very versatile data types in Python. List is Python's most flexible order collection object type. Unlike strings, list can contain any sort of object like numbers, strings, and even other list. It need not to be homogeneous always which make it most powerful tool in Python. It is very useful tool for preventing a sequence of data and further iterating over it. Now coming to the important characteristics of Python list. List is order collection of object and can be accessed by index. It contain any arbitrary object. We can also create nested list. List cannot be changed like tuples. So that's why they are mutable and these are dynamic as well. Now now coming to creating a python list. List in python can be created by placing the sequence of data inside the square back. It can have any number of items and they may be of different types like integer, float, string etc. We can also make an empty list in python. So let's start. We'll create an integer list. Declare a variable and assign integer value to it. Now, now print it. The output will be this. Now creating a float list. Declare a variable containing float value values and print this statement. The output will be this. Now we will create a string list. Clear a variable with a string value. Print the statement and we will get the output. Unlike other programming language like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, a Python list can contain data with different data types like declare a list with multiple data types. Here these are integer value, this is a string value and this is float value. Now we will print the statement. The output will be this. Sometimes it is better to create an empty list initially and populate it later by using methods like append. So how to create an empty list? To create an empty list, we need to declare a variable with empty square and print that list and the output will be this. So that's all. For all these codes, you can also refer to our website Pickup Brain. The link will be provided in the description box. In the next video, we will cover how to append the list. 